Today's lesson is about、uh, basic trig identities. First of all, we have reciprocal identities. For cosecant x equals one over sin x. For secant x equals one over cosine x. For cotangent x equals one over tangent x. This three is a minor trig function, so we use major trig function to express the minor trig function. The second very important、uh, trig identity called ratio identities or quotient identities. We use a sine and a cosine to express a tangent. For tangent, you got sine of x over cosine of x. Cotangent x equals cosine x over sine x. For reciprocal identities and ratio identities, basically we use a sine and a cosine to express a trig functions. Because in the future, for simplifying trig expressions or verifying trig identities, the very important rule is to change everything into sine and a cosine. So you have to use either reciprocal identities or ratio identities to change trig function into. Sin or cosine. Now let's go to Pythagorean trig identities. Let's look at this、uh, circle. We know that for cosine theta equals x over r, and a、uh, sin theta equals.、Uh, Y over R. Both sides. Let's square. Then I add together. You will get、uh, cosine square theta plus、uh, sine square theta. Equals x square over r square plus y square over r square. We working on the right side. We got r square. Top is x square plus y square. Since we know for this right triangle, we have. X square plus y square equals r square. Therefore, we got r square over r square equals one. In other words, we got identities: sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. We call this is the first、uh, Pythagorean trig identity. So for second one, we still using sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. For both sides, I divide by sine square theta. See what we got. This is a one plus cosine divided by sine. That's a cotangent square theta equals one over sine square theta. That's a cosecant square theta. Normally, I want to get equals one, so I subtract cotangent square theta both sides. You will get the one equals 
cosecant square theta minus cotangent square theta equals one. This will be the second Pythagorean trig identities. That is cosecant square theta minus the cotangent square theta equals one. For third Pythagorean trig identity, we still get from uh, sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. This time, everything I divided by cosine square theta, cosine square theta, cosine square theta. See what we got. Sine square theta over cosine square theta, that is a tangent square theta. This is a reduce plus one equals one over cosine square theta, that will be secant square theta. Still, I need a equals one. So we got one equals secant square theta minus a tangent square theta. Therefore, we got uh, third Pythagorean trig identity. That is a secant square theta minus a tangent square theta equals one. Normally for number two and number three, it's not used a lot, but you have to remember this. And also the twisted form for this Pythagorean trig identity. Now let's talk about uh, twisted form from uh, sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. First of all, sine theta square, we can write down sine square theta. So we got the sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one. Both sides I minus a cosine square theta. We got sine square theta equals one minus a cosine square theta. Then we can do the those factoring. That is a one plus cosine theta times one minus cosine theta. Because a square minus b square, you will get the a plus b times the a minus b. Therefore, we got uh, this one. One plus cosine theta times one minus cosine theta, we call this is a conjugate. Multiply. Very important uh, property. So when we do the backwards, we got the one minus cosine square theta. Then we got the sine square theta. So you need to remember this. We call this is a first. Uh, Twisted form of a Pythagorean trig identity. Let's go to second form. We're still using the sine square theta plus a cosine square theta equals one. This time, I need to subtract sine square theta both sides. So we got the cosine square theta equals one minus a sine square theta. Then we do those factoring like this. We got one plus sine theta times one minus sine theta. Then remember the backwards. You will get a cosine square theta. 
This way, we call that a plus b times a minus b. This format called conjugate multiply. The answer will be a squared minus b squared. Now let's draw a conclusion for Pythagorean identities. First of all, that's a sine square x plus cosine square x equals 1. This is just a variable. Sometimes we use x, sometimes we use a theta. For second, Pythagorean trig identity is a second square x minus a tangent square x equals 1. For Pythagorean, that means you have square. You know, we got the a square plus the b square equals the c square. Or a square equals the c square minus b square. Or you could say it's a b square equals the c square minus a square. For third, Pythagorean trig identity is a Cosecant square x minus the cotangent square x equals 1. Then we got twisted uh, Pythagorean identity that's a uh, sine square x equals 1 minus cosine square x. So we factor this. Remember, we got the 1 plus cosine x times the 1 minus cosine x. Then what if we do the backwards, you will get the sine square x. For cosine square x, you will get uh, 1 minus uh, sine square x. Still, we need to factor that it's 1 plus sine x times uh, 1 minus sine x. Remember, a square minus b square equals a plus b times uh, a minus b. This is a conjugate multiply. So we do the backwards, you can get the cosine square x. Now let's introduce a conjugate multiply to simplify trig expressions or to verify trig identities. In what situation you can use conjugate multiply for trig functions. Here's the rule. Whenever you see 1 plus or minus cosine x or 1 plus or minus sine x as a denominator, like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the signal for you to do conjugate multiply to simplify. Let's do number 1. First of all, I got the 1 minus cosine x. I need to multiply its conjugate. That is a 1 plus cosine x. Top and a bottom. So to the denominator, that you will get the a squared minus b squared. That is 1 minus cosine square x. Top, I will get 1 plus cosine x. Since 1 minus cosine square x, that is a sine square x. Then top, still 1 plus cosine x. We call this procedure is a conjugate multiply. When you verify trig identities or simplify trig expressions, whenever you see this one, 1 plus or minus cosine x, or 1 plus or minus sine x as a denominator, you got to go through this uh, procedure 
to simplify. Let's do number four. So we got one plus sine x. The conjugate will be one minus sine x. We do top and bottom at the same time. So for denominator, you will get、uh, a square minus b square means one minus sine square x. Top one minus sine x. Therefore, denominator you got the cosine square x. Top still one minus sine x. So can you simplify for? These two, we know that、uh, verifying trig identities is a very hard topic for students. Therefore, I made a football formula for trig identities、uh, for students to remember. This is the cover of a football formula. And、uh, this is the content of a foldable formula for trig identities. You got to use this、uh, when you identify trig identities or when you simplify trig expressions. Hopefully, it's、uh, helpful for you.